Welcome everybody. In this lesson, we are going to create our .NET API project. And to do this, we are going to use the .NET CLI. So now you have a question, what is the .NET CLI? Well, .NET CLI is the .NET command line interface, which is a cross-platform tool chain for developing, building, running, and publishing .NET applications. The .NET CLI is included with the .NET SDK that is we already have installed in the previous lecture. So first thing first, uh, now let's uh, create our API project. So I'm using Windows. So come into your command prompt by typing CMD in the search box or your terminal if you own a Mac or Linux. Now return back to the C drive by typing C dot dot and pressing enter and repeating this process again. Now let's see what is inside the C drive. Now what we are going to do is just to make a new directory that is going to store our project files and this is going to be our alumni app. So type mkdr alumni app and press enter. C files directory by typing dir for Mac it is ls. And then I'm just changing directory alumni app folder and this is where our project uh, is going to stay. So for Angular project and the .NET API project. So now clear the screen. Now what we can do to use is the .NET command line interface as I mentioned earlier. And the first thing we are going to do is uh, just to check to make sure our installation was successful. And one way we can do this is uh, just uh, run this command .NET uh, dash dash info and press enter. This will give you all the details about the SDK uh, you have installed in your computer. Now I have got different uh, versions of the SDK living in my machine and that's not a problem at all. The latest version or the one I have I am going to be running from is the .NET Core 5.0 version. It is the latest uh, one available up to now. Also, we have details of the .NET runtime as we have installed in order to run our applications. The .NET application uses a runtime and it moves ahead and gets this from inside the location. And what we have is the details of the SDK uh, that we have installed. And most importantly, uh, this host useful for support tell us which version we are going to be using here at the runtime. Now what we want to do first of all is we want to create a .NET API project but before doing this type .NET dash ace and this gives us all of the different comments that are available for us to use. Now we are going to creating a new project and a new solution of our application. So we are going to be making use of the .NET new comment and we will also make use of solution comment here to add our project to the solution when we create it. So what we will do is we will go in, get more information about what we can do with the .NET new command and we can get a contextual help by typing .NET new dash dash list. So once this, once this opens, uh, then we get a list of all of the different templates that are available with the .NET 5 SDK. Now there is a huge range of choice inside here, but there is a couple of things that we want to create now. So we want to create a solution file. Um, and this is a container for our project and we are going to create a project template as well. And uh, one that we are going to use is ASP.NET Core Web API. So let's create our new solution file and we'll say .NET new sln and what this will do is take the name of it the container folder as what it will call the solution file and if we just list the contents with uh, dir command we can see our solution file now we are going to have one project inside here and what will we will do is we will create .NET new and this time we will say web API and we will give it an output directory with a dash O because we want our API project to be contained in its own folder and we give our API project name alumni API 
and what we will do we will just simply call this alumni api and press uh, return or enter and we can see that this has been created and if we list the contents again then we can now see that we have a folder as well as a solution with the api project so here you go you see there is a alumni api dot sln and alumni api project now the last thing we want to do here is we want to add our api project into our solution and to do that we can use the solution command and we can say dot net sln and i can say add then we can just say alumni api and press enter so this will add our project with our solution and you can see the successful message here so what we want to do now is to open our project inside the visual studio code as i mentioned before for this project i'm gonna use uh, visual studio code uh, so let's open the visual studio code now as you see there is a alumni f folder inside our c drive and this is our project so we will open this uh, project in our the visual studio code so this is the visual studio code so this opens up and we see the default welcome screen and what we want to do is just uh, use the tab on the left side to open our project and i'm just going to click on alumni app get the folder and click on open and this opens up our application in visual studio code so now you see this is our uh, api project that is we have created uh, with the command line so now what i'm going to do next is go through a few tips and things that we want to add to visual studio code thanks for watching and uh, i will see you next lecture